Hey everyone, today I want to offer a few tips on how to assemble a high powered rocket. Let's get started. One of the first things you want to do is make sure you scribe a line between the fins so that you can align your rail buttons properly. It's difficult to do this after the fins are attached. And then you need to decide how you're going to mount the rail buttons. In my case, I'm going to use screws, but sometimes you can use bolts or uh, whatever type of fastener you choose, but you need to decide that before you even start construction of the rocket. Don't forget to leave room for your retainer if you're using an Aeropack retainer or something else. And when I assemble a rocket, I do not glue in the rear uh, centering ring here. I, uh, I use it to position the motor mount in and I leave it loose and then that way I have access to the fins and the mount in the back here and I can put additional fillets in the back if I determine that it's necessary. Also you can see in the back of this airframe that I've put a small piece of wood here, I think you can see it there in the video, and uh, that is for the uh, rail button. I'm using a screw and it will screw through the airframe and into that small block of wood. Now this isn't absolutely necessary, but once you button all this up together, it's very difficult to make any kind of changes. Make sure you have access to the recovery cord when you glue in the motor mount. One time I glued in the mount and it was jammed between the eye bolt and the quick link. And I had a very difficult time getting the recovery cord loose from that. That's not something that you want to experience. When I dry fit the assembly, I mark the fins with a marker to make sure that they're seated all the way down onto the motor mount. And then that way when you glue it up, you can come back and make sure that that fin hasn't shifted off the motor mount and hasn't tilted uh, to the back or forward or in any way that you don't want it to move. So I find this really helpful and it's just reassuring to know that when I come back and look at it, that the fin is glued at the root to the motor mount and that provides a very secure connection. I like to use a template guide to glue on the fins. That way you know that the fins are straight and it really eases in assembly. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can print one of your own or I ordered this one online from Mac Performance Rocketry. Uh, it was inexpensive and uh, I just really think it helps in the assembly process. If you're using dual deploy, I like to slide the vent band against a piece of tape and that way it kind of contains the epoxy or whatever type of adhesive you're using. And then before this sets, I like to assemble it into the airframe and check and make sure that this is nice and flush and that that fitting right there is sufficient all the way around. I've had these uh, couplers just kind of shift a little bit and then it doesn't fit quite properly on the airframe and it doesn't look the best either. So I always double check this to make sure that everything is square in the way I want it. One last quick tip before we go. Make sure you have plenty of supplies before you start your project. I get the acid flux brushes from Harbor Freight. I'll leave a link in the description where you can find them there if you don't have one locally. I get these uh, tongue depressors or these craft sticks from the local dollar store. Also, you'll need alcohol in case you get uh, epoxy on your hands or on your project and you can wipe them off and then of course paper towels. Just make sure you have all the supplies you need before you get started and before it's crunch time. And that way you can proceed with your project and enjoy the assembly of it. I hope you found the construction tips helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more rocket videos and assembly techniques and just some good old launches. All right, until then, blue skies, we'll see you soon.